Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I just needed to do something very chill and simple because I am horribly sick. My whole house is sick. My little ones are sick. Everyone got sick and I gave it to them. Some kind of stomach virus is going around and it is miserable. So I just wanted to sit down today. I don't feel like wearing foundation, so this was the perfect video to do this for. I have my eyes done already and my eyebrows, which is very simple. I'm going to keep you zoomed in. Today we are going to be trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and the powder. I have never tried these two products. I have tried the cult favorite, the Glass Bottle Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I absolutely hate it. It does not work with my dry skin at all. Like, whoops. Like, at all. It looks horrible. I have not tried the stick foundation yet. I really want to because usually stick foundations are dewier and that's what I need. But everyone loves that liquid foundation and I feel left out because I hate it so much. But I've heard really good things about the concealer so I really want to try it. And I've heard really good things about the powder too. Allie Glines on YouTube. She has been loving it and using it in the last couple videos. So I want to give it a try. And so I'm not going to wear foundation. I'm just going to try the concealer. And yeah, without further ado. Let's get into it. My face is already primed. I have the primerizer by Smashbox on and that's it. Uh, and a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose, which I'm also going to use to set because it's photo focus. So. And typically for me, because of my skin and how crappy it is, I do not use loose powders to set my under eyes. Sometimes the Laura Mercier and Colourpop translucent loose powders, those are like the only powders that work for me. But typically I use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, not Dewy and Smooth, the Set and Smooth for normal to dry skin in Classic Ivory or the Physician's Formula Healthy Powder in LW2 or LC1, one of those, but LW2 is what I like, but I have both of them. I like a pressed powder with a little bit more coverage because of how finicky my under eyes are. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it. This is nothing new to anybody else. It's only new to me. I'm zooming in a little bit. And we're going to put this on. I'm going to do it exactly how I would any other concealer. Not a lot comes out on the doe foot. If I'm not wearing foundation, this is how I do my concealer. Yeah, not a lot comes out at all. Okay, and I use a brush. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Combo. 101 complexion blender brush it's actually for like primers and moisturizers but i absolutely love it for blending out foundation and concealer Wow. Okay. 
That looks really good. Wait, it's not clinging on to my dry patches? It looks really smooth. I really hope this powder does not ruin it. I can't wait to try this again with my normal powders to see how it works, but right now it looks really, really good. I'm going to add just a tad bit more. Right there. This is in the shade White Ivory, 840B, by the way, if anyone cares. That looks so good. Okay, so now I'm going to take this ginormous powder. Oh. Wow, that is messy. I already tore off the plastic. That is huge. And it's only like $5. I'm going to take my real tech, or not, yeah. No, this is my Moda Royal and Lang Nickel Mythical set. It's like a blush brush, but I absolutely love it for under the eyes. And what I do is I pick up the product, I will tap it off onto my hand, and then make sure it's pushed into the brush. And I will do that a couple times till you can like barely see it. And then I just... Gently, gently wisp it under my eye. Hmm. That's not looking too bad either. Let's do the other side. Wow, I am not like mad at this. I'm just doing the same thing to the rest. That looks really good. Like, really, really good. It's not like clinging onto my dry patches at all. <clears throat> it actually looks like really good. Wow, this might be right up there with the Laura Mercier and the ColourPop. That looks really, really good. Okay, I'm excited. I love that concealer. As an everyday, really quick, going to work concealer because I get up for work at 3 in the morning and have to get ready in like 30 minutes. So that would be really quick to tap out with that finger and go. I really like that. Okay, we're going to move on and see how everything blends on top of it. I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Actually, before I do that, I want to spray. Oh, where's my fan?
Let's see how it looks after spraying. That looks even better after spraying it, but it looked good before. Wow. So again, I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Sunkissed and just bronze up my face just very lightly. Well, lightly for me. Sometimes certain powders, when I go to blend my bronzer and stuff over top of it, it pulls at, like, I don't know how to explain it. When I look close up, I'll be able to tell. Yeah, like I said, so sometimes certain loose powders, when I go to blend my blush bronzer and stuff over it it ends up like I don't know how to explain it it ends up looking like really funky and just leaving like little craters in my face it like pulls up the foundation concealer whatever I have underneath and it just ends up looking really funky so when I look close up, I'll be able to see if that is doing that. For blush, I'm going to, I'm actually going to do my highlighter before blush. I like to do my highlighter before blush. So for highlighter, I'm going to take my ColourPop Super Shop Cheek in Flexitarian. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I don't even know if you can see that. I'm just going to take it on a brush. Sometimes I feel like this might be a little too gray toned. I'm just going to take a smaller brush and go Sometimes these Super Shock formulas are hard to work with. Sometimes. With a brush, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're better with a sponge. I like to bathe and highlight. I just, whoops. I just like to be really shiny. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in between the sheets. It's like this very pretty, natural, mauve tone. It's just really pretty. I'm going to start with a brush because I have used these plenty of times with a brush. Oh, 
I just got a notification. <clears throat> There's a new Tati video. My favorite YouTuber to watch is, in order, Kathleen Lights. I'm going to use a different brush. Oh. Here my eye. Okay, is Kathleen Lights. And then Raw Beauty Christie, and then Tati, and Manny, definitely Manny. Manny might, might be second, so. Kathleen Lights, Manny MUA, Raw Beauty Christy, and then Tati. I love blush. And I feel like if I put it on after the highlight, it kind of helps blend it in and just look a little more seamless. But yeah. Okay. What do we have? I'm going to set again using the Ofra makeup fixer Woo! that this bottle is fucked that squirt is my little kitty cat ears out so you can see my messed up hair i did not bother to do anything with it for lips I'm just going to do a gloss. I am going to smudge a little bit of liner on there real quick. This is the Ofra Lip Liner in Copper. And I'm not being very precise. Then I'm going to take my Buxom Gloss. In Dolly. And that is it. That is all I feel like doing. But, so, oh, I never looked up close to see if that happened with the products. Okay, so. I love when I have a highlighter mustache. It just makes me so happy. Okay, so, I fucking love this concealer and powder. Like, I truly, truly am obsessed. My go-to concealer right now is the ColourPop one, and it's a little matte. But with the Physician's Formula powder on top, it comes out really nice. Or the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I love those. This is making its way into the really up early for work drawer i really like it like it did not make those weird little things on my face like i was talking about and i really really like it everything looks nice and smooth and just i really really like it i'm very excited and these are like, that concealer is like $3 at some places. They have it at like the Five and Below store and Dollar General and stuff. That's actually where I got mine at Dollar General for like $4.
And the powder's only $5 at Walmart. I really, really like it. I am very excited. So, that concludes today's laid back, easy video. Like I said, 100% approve of these products. If you have not tried them, don't sleep on them. They are very good. I mean, everyone has different skin types, everything. So what works for me might not work for y'all. But really what works for most people really does not work for me at all because of how finicky my skin is. I have super dry, stupid skin. But this is working. And I actually, I was going to wash it off after this, but I kind of want to go to the grocery store or something. If everyone wasn't sick as fuck, then I would. I kind of like it. Okay, and that concludes today's video. Please, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if it helps you at all, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, then don't. That's on you. Rude. But, please go and watch my last two videos. There is a giveaway going on that ends this coming Thursday. Yeah, the 16th, so this coming Thursday. It ends on the 16th, and I will be picking one winner. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave a thumbs up.